In this video, I'm going to show you how to install extensions or set a policy that installs extensions for your users from inside of your paid Google Workspace account. Now, extensions in Google Chrome are incredibly useful. They do all sorts of things from password managers to screenshots to text expanders. Uh, but there are two plugins that we recommend uh, almost all of our clients put in, and those are the uh, Google Docs offline extension, and now that allows a user to be able to edit Google Docs uh, through the browser, even if they don't have a internet connection. And the second one is the compatibility for editing Office documents, uh, so Microsoft Word and Excel native documents inside of their organization as well. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that, so let's jump in, and then uh, we'll get those sorted out. So I'm here in the admin console, and what I'm gonna do is gonna go through devices, Chrome, I'm gonna to go to apps and extensions and click on overview. And we're gonna have a look in here and see there's actually nothing here just yet. So we're going to go through into users and browsers, and we're gonna say, well, we need to add uh, some extensions in here. Now you can also do this for apps in Google Play. As you can see, there's an icon, icon there. You can click to add from the Chrome Web Store and search. You, if you already know your Chrome Web uh, App ID, you can use this one. And if you have a, uh, a custom Chrome plugin that's unique to your organization, you can install it uh, by URL there as well. So I'm gonna show you the two ways of doing this because we've got two extensions to add. I'm gonna show you a couple of the options. So let's start by adding from the Chrome Web Store. So that pops up the Chrome Web Store in a little sub window and I'm gonna search for Google Docs offline. That's the, uh, the name of this one that we're looking for. And it's gonna do a search in the Google Chrome Web Store and it's going to hopefully find the one that we're looking for. Okay, that's a little bit strange, isn't it? Okay. So this, this is the one that I'm looking for, Google Docs Offline. So let me just make sure, yes, I did spell that right. How very odd. All right, well, in theory, that should work and you should be able to find it in there. It doesn't seem to be working very well, does it? All right, what else do we need? It's probably in uh, productivity. So let's go to productivity. Nope, again, very odd. Okay, <laughs> it's not the best example, is it? Hey, let's try this one. Let's try for Chrome uh, Docs Sheets, etc. It's also not coming up. There it is, okay, cool. So here we go. So I'm gonna click on it. It shows uh, the extension in the web store and then you just click on select. Uh, that will filter and it will give you some options, okay? So we can see now we've got the right extension and it gives us this panel on the right. So you can do a few things. You can allow users to install it. You can actually block it. So if you know there are some malicious extensions in the Chrome Web Store that you don't want people to use, you can um, set it and block it. They won't be then able to install it into Chrome. You can allow the install, force the install, or you force it and pin. Uh, and pinning means that it will come up in the uh, top right-hand corner next to your, uh, your uh, icon or your user's icon. Now, in this case, there's no kind of need for that icon to appear. So I'm just gonna click on Force Install, um, and then I'm gonna click on Save in the top right. Now let's do the second example, and we're gonna do that by ID. So let's go back to our Google uh, Docs offline. If you find that in the Chrome Web Store, you can come up to the address bar here and you can copy the, uh, that, that ID at the end of the address and you can use that in the extension ID and you can say from the Chrome ID or from, from the Chrome Web Store or from a URL and it will do the same thing. So here we go, it says uh, Google Docs offline. I'm gonna click force install and then we're gonna click on save. And that means that any of your users that log into Google Chrome uh, with your uh, organization ID will get those Chrome extensions installed automatically. So that's how that works. It's a really useful tool. Um, it helps your users by them not having to go and search for stuff. Things will just start to work for them without them needing to um, kind of do anything like that. We highly recommend this for password managers. Uh, if you're using Bitwarden, for example, make sure you add that to the policy and it will get installed uh, for your user. 
And then of course, if you're using SSO with those kind of uh, tools as well, then it's literally one click for them uh, to log in using their Google account, which is great. So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next video.